What's going on guys, it's Jake, we're back in for another YouTube video. Tonight we have the 05 in the shop for a long awaited video. A lot of people have been asking me, when are you gonna wire the mirrors? I'm waiting to see the mirror wiring video. So tonight we're gonna try to get it done for you guys. The way I'm gonna do it obviously is not the only way to do it. But my plan to make these turn signals on the mirror work is to remove the headlights and hopefully run a wire from the headlight hot turn signal back to the mirror light. So that's gonna be the plan. Keep in mind if you guys have your front bumper on, my front bumper is obviously off, but if you have your front bumper on, it could, you're gonna have to remove the front bumper to get your headlights out. So that could make the process a little bit longer. But like I said, there's probably multiple ways to do this. I'm gonna do it this way and we're gonna get it done. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get these headlights out and I'll put you guys on a little time lapse. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button because it really helps out the channel and we're trying to grow. So really appreciate it. If you guys like it, drop a like. All right, so I just got the headlights out here. As you can see, they kind of just flop a little bit. This one has fell down. So this is actually the side I'm gonna be working on first because it's a little bit more room, a little more access. First thing we're gonna do is figure out which one of these plugs is the turn signal one. So how I'm gonna do that is turn the key on, turn the turn signal on and see which one of them lights up. And then we'll figure out which one's the power, which one's the ground, go from there. Real quick, I wanted to show you guys how I figured out which one was the hot and which one was the ground. So I basically have a test light hooked up to a ground in here, any of them work. Then I have my test light here and I've unplugged the turn signal wire. I'll set you guys back down so you can see when I put the test light into the plug, that is the hot that is blinking right there. So. That is the wire that we're gonna want to run to our hot of the turn signal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the door card off so we can get back behind there and figure out which wires to hook up to which wires. So stay tuned, we'll keep you guys up to date. So guys, we got the door card off. And as you can see in here, this is where I hooked up the adjustability wires for the mirrors. If you guys wanna know how to do that, I'll put the link up here right now and you see we have a green and a white wire here on the passenger side now i gotta figure out which one of these is hot and which one is ground but what i'm thinking about doing is hooking it up to power and seeing if it really matters so maybe splicing a wire or running a jumper wire from a battery up to these and see what makes it actually come on so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and see if i can get the lights to even light up and then we'll go from there. All right, so real quick, I wanted to show you guys the setup. I basically got a couple jumper wires here coming from that battery, and I've hooked the hot up to the white wire and the ground up to the green wire. And if we roll around here, we can see that the turn signal is lit up. Now that we have power there, we know which wires are power, we know which wires are ground. The white wire is power and the green wire is ground. We're gonna have to somehow get the wire from there up to the front or a wire from up front to the back here so i'm gonna figure out how to do that and then we'll fill you guys in show you how i'm gonna get these wires up front so basically there is this rubber boot in here I hope you guys can see this but there's a rubber boot right there as you can see i have cut a little slash in that which i do plan on sealing back up with silicone but right now we just have a piece of mechanics wire ran through there over into the door panel here. And what I'm gonna do is I've got a long wire spliced onto the two wires that we need. And I'm going to tape this wire to the mechanics wire to get it through the door and then hopefully route it up front. So that's the plan. We're gonna try to get that done and then we will hopefully be able to give you guys some tips on how you can do it a little bit easier. So stay tuned, we'll get these things working. All right, so quick update. As you can see, we have the wires here down through the door panel, out through the boot there. 
It's just a little tiny slit in there. It actually worked really well. I just taped the wire to a piece of mechanics wire that I had put through there. So now the plan is I'm going to run a piece of mechanics wire from the front of the car back to these wires and then hopefully tape it again and pull it to the front of the car. So it's a little bit more work than anticipated, but we're gonna get it done nonetheless and hopefully we can get this passenger side one turn signaling soon. So stay tuned, we'll get it done. All right, so you can see we got the wires to the front. So that is a success. I went ahead and cut off the turn signal clip. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the power is in the green wire. I'm pretty sure, but I kind of forget. So I'm gonna check one more time just to make sure this is the power. I know that the gray wire is my power. So basically we're gonna try to splice both of these into one connector, the green and the gray, and then we'll connect it to the green on the plug side so then we'll just go black to black to black and we'll get the grounds right so we're gonna make sure there's power in that wire and then i'm gonna go ahead and get it all hooked up and we'll see if it works okay so we got done the wiring up here like i said we got two blacks to the one black going to the plug we got the green and black tracer we got the gray hooked up to that one so that's all spliced up i'm going to shrink those heat type connectors but first i want to show you guys back here again just so you guys can be clear you see right here we have the green and the white wire hooked up to a jumper wire that i ran going to the front of the car so over here in the um, door well you can see that i have the wire running up to the front of the car so all that is good and now I'm gonna fire it up and see if we have the turn signal working. So let's go. All right guys, so we got it fired up. Super stoked on that. It's been a long time coming. They've been on the car for a while. Originally this car came with just gray mirrors. So if you guys aren't familiar, it just came with gray mirrors. These mirrors are actually off of 06 to a 08 Forester. I really, really like the turn signal addition to the bottom. Also they're blue matching with the theme of this car. So I'm super excited to have these on the car and have them actually working. So we're gonna go ahead and get the other side done, but I probably won't go quite as in depth, but I'm definitely gonna at least show you guys what I do. So be sure to stay tuned. We'll get the other side working. Let's go. All right guys, so I got the car in here. It's actually the next day, but I did the driver's side. So hopefully you guys can see this, but basically it's the exact same as the passenger side. We have a green and white wire coming out of the mirror and we have what I wired, a black and gray. And I just put it through the boot just like I did on the other side. And let me key it up real quick. Close the door here. So we got her working. Now basically up here, Ran that same wire all the way to the front. I've wire tied it now, but we have it spliced in to our turn signal wire on the back of the headlight. Now, like I said, before this video started, there's obviously a lot of other ways you can do this, but this is just the way I did it. And you guys wanted to see that, so here it is. But be sure to like and subscribe. We'll be back for another video soon, so stay tuned. We have big news coming for the 05, so be on the lookout.